In this video, I will show you how to use Vox Implants APIs to send an SMS. As you'll see, this only takes a few minutes. Before we start, you should set up a free account and get a phone number. Just go to voximplant.com and click sign up. Today, we will use Vox Implants communications platform. From there, take a minute to enter your details and verify your email address. Once you're in the Vox Implant Management Console, next you will need to purchase a phone number that you can use for sending messages. US phone numbers cost just $1 a month. Check the pricing page on voximplant.com for phone number pricing in more than 60 countries. Note SMS is not supported in every country. It is not shown here, but you can add money to your account or apply any promotional credit you received by going to billing in the left menu in the Vox Implant Management Console. Add a phone number by going to Numbers, My Phone Numbers. From there, just click Buy a Number and then select your desired location information. Pick the quantity of numbers you want to purchase with those parameters and buy them. SMS is not enabled by default, so you need to turn on SMS. From the My Phone Numbers page, just click Edit on one of the numbers and click the slider to enable SMS. You should now see the checkbox verifying that SMS is enabled. That's all you need to do to get your number set up. Optionally, you can give it a quick test right from the management console. Just go to two-way SMS, enter the number you just purchased and a destination number. I just got the notification that the message came through and I can see this if I look at the SMS history. Of course, we're here to do this programmatically, so let's move on to doing this programmatically. The best place to start is Vox Implant's extensive docs. Just click on Docs from the Vox Implant homepage or go to voximplant.com slash docs. SMS is controlled via our management API. You'll see Vox Implant supports many different API clients or you can look at our curl references. I am going to use Node.js for this quick example, but the steps are similar for other languages. Clicking on Node.js takes us to the NPM package installer. The instructions here say we need an API key, so let's go make one. Just go back to manage.voximplant.com, then go to settings and service accounts. We don't have a service account already, so let's add one. There are a number of different built-in roles. We'll just use developer for now. Click generate key, and now it will ask us to download that key. Make sure to save this in a secure location. If you lose it, you will need to generate a new key. Now that we have that key, I'm going to open a terminal. Let's make a directory for our project. We can use npm as instructed to install the Node.js API client. The next step is to link to our credentials. You can do this inside your application, but it is usually best practice to use environment variables. Here, I will just set the voximplant underscore credentials variable to point to the key file I just downloaded. You can always check this using a simple echo command. From here, we can open your editor or IDE of choice to make our node JavaScript file. If we go back to the npm.js page, you'll see there is already a send an SMS example. In fact, if you follow the link to the source GitHub repo, you will find examples for every API command. Since everything we need for this quick example is already there, I'll just cut and paste that send an SMS code. The send an SMS message API is very simple. Just specify the sender number, that's the number we just purchased, then the destination number. I'll put a phone number I have in there for testing purposes. And last, we need the message body itself. I'll just keep the default there. Now we can save this file and run it with Node.js. You can see here from the response that the message was sent. Let's wait for it to come in. And here it is. That's it. That's all you need to do to send an SMS with Vox Implants APIs. Of course, there is so much more you can do. See the links in the description for more information.